Hey guys, so you probably know I'm into Docker, I'm into Amazon stuff, I'm an Amazon hero, but um, I thought I should just quickly make a video about my experiences of using Amazon EC2 container service because um, I've been heavily promoting it and saying it's great, um, and, it, and it has been really, but I was really being burnt um, this last week at work. At work, actually, we have a, a blog to to tell people about stuff, what we're up to. I actually wrote this blog. And basically, the problem with the, um, with the Amazon ECS cluster, and I didn't realize it was a problem before. I mean, I've been working really hard and making sure the application has no, uh, no downtime. But the problem is when you set up a, a cluster, the underlying OS is important, like... And my personal stuff, I use Core OS, and Core OS has like this update strategy where it, it upgrades itself like Chrome OS and then does it like a reboot by default. But that's the problem with the Amazon ECS. That's the, what I'm making the video about. The the current um, Amazon EC, uh, Amazon AMI that goes along with the ECS CLI, which I which I which I use to orchestrate my cluster. Um, there's basically no way of updating that AMI um, without bringing down the entire cluster. That's a huge problem because the current AMIs that I'm running actually at work on, on production systems um, has a problem where, where um, it just fills the logs with the data and makes the machine crash. And that was also filling the machine with <laughs> and, and emptying the volume of a free space is actually a tricky one to catch and it happens you know in the middle of the night which you really don't want as a, as a devops person um but the sad thing is, is this bug is now fixed in amazon agent but um uh not in ecs cli but but even if it was fixed in ecs cli that's the problem here the big problem here is that I have to bring down my cluster in order to upgrade the AMI. And how do you, you know, make sure you don't have any downtime when you bring down a cluster and bring it up? The load balancer is attached to the um, the cluster. Um, so yeah, I'm making this video to give you a bit of a warning and it's a cry of help. And uh, <laughs> so if you know how to solve this problem, I have, uh, we have Amazon support actually at work, and they, they seem to think I have to bring it down and up. So I'm really not very pleased with it. Um, and the sad thing at work, I'm actually trying to convince people Docker is a good idea, and I'm meeting resistance uh, because, to be honest, the existing setup with Chef and the way they orchestrate the AMIs um, actually works. Um, <laughs> Uh, and this one has its little edge cases and you expect that to find that but at the same time uh, I have been testing it for more than a month and I was actually like ready to like move uh, more production services over and then I hit this problem so yeah um, take care guys Sirio thank you for watching